victory innovates them, but frequently, we saw his attempt at Syndra early in this tournament, wasn't convincing. He's played one game ever on Aurelian Soul back in the LCK. Was play. Do they Realm Warp in or do they walk? Also a gank top side. All right, double sides, the Whoa. flash knockback. Here's the ward up in the kick as well. Oh. Lands the Sonic Wave. That's first blood in for Peanut. Meanwhile, Prey has to do just that. He's running out of health. Clear love. Ash going to lose his life. The kill in for Prey. Rocks Tiger's still not saying die. Finally, the kills come through for Scout. Two to two overall. But Kuro is not done. Voice of Flight tags Mako. Flash the chain. Oh my goodness. He's going to try to get some of them, but they're inside the orbit. They're not taking any damage. He finally gets one and gets oh. away with it. Kuro makes it three two. Rocks Tigers. And, and a positive play top side. We might actually see some more information. So far, Jace is staying top. We don't have the vision toggle just yet. There he is. Koro does have flash. Does he use it? Peanut is around. Koro going to go for the 1v2. Plenty of damage to deal to the Rocks Tigers jungler. Oh! And at least he trades it back. That's the Self actually has gotten a, a minion kill lead back. But now he's looking for top lane tier 2. Forced the early flash out of Kuro. He ults to kill the minion wave, not knowing that he's just going to die himself. That's going to be a kill put through. But he will save the turret for now and buy time for the rest of the the team to do something else, maybe. Overcoming yeah. team fighters, but if they keep this up and they get a good realm warp in, they have a chance. Look for the play on the bot lane. Gorilla running out of health rapidly. The first kill gonna come through, and oh, Hitler is just running out of HP. He's gonna shift out of this one and run for your dear life. Coro finishes the teleport to buy some time for the rest of his team. Will they get much going on, though? Looks like the chase still continuing as Rock Tigers really want some more kills. Mako eats a cupcake. He goes and comes back in towards Pita, but Coro taking all of his life and damage, gonna get dropped down. For it. He turns around and gets killed for the uh, transgression, and it's a one for zero Rox. Fight there by EDG cost them. And you can't excuse lack of Ragnarok initiation on the turret dive either. Rox looking for more than just the turret. Gonna land the Q, the flash of chase, the slow and a clear the kick into the wall. The kill comes through to Kuro with the orbiting stars, and more comes through for the Rox Tigers. Now a death stun's gonna land. Double kill for the mid laner. One more chase for Spab. Actually gonna run away from this one. Doesn't want for EDG. For now, no other damage, just Peanut dueling with Kara. He's got the teammates coming. Zyra just below, down on that side of the map. Aurelian Soul coming as well. That's that yellow orb on your screen. Coral able to get away, not putting any summoners. And here's the rest of Edward Gaming. Sveb has teleport. Oh. And here's the re-engage. Two members already picked off. Make that three. Coral doesn't even need to snipe a double kill for Kuro in the mid lane for Rocks Tigers. And that was a 5v4. Theoretically, Smeb wasn't really part of that fight. And it gets smashed. What an absurd combo from Gorilla and Kuro there, catching the grasping roots. Now they turn for Baron. Smeb be damned, he fell down. The rest of Rocks did a 4v5. Double Mountain, so, so easy. The threat of tanking this all damage in the front line. Otherwise, they're in trouble. Whoa! There's the giant stun from base. Not gonna land the stun on anybody just yet, but ooh, is Pina looking for the knockback, but not gonna find it, maybe overstepping. Jumps to a minion, running out of health pretty rapidly, but they don't quite have the damage output. He goes and buys a little bit more time, and he's not quite gonna burn down. Gorilla gets the kill in the Koro, and now it's Edward Gaming forced to retreat once again. Clear love slowed down, chased out. Kuro is not gonna be stopped. Finally, let's get away back to his base, but it is a 5v4 that rocks Tigers. Play, but right now, all the Korean fans can be exceptionally happy at how their team is doing right now. Once again, look at the play on Scout. He is able to dodge some of the skill shots and actually flash away for a few more seconds. Maybe Peanut finds the re-engage. In fact, might just do so. Flash the Q, gets the oh. kill with the kick. Nicely done there by Peanut, turning one in. And all this really is so durable enough to make it scary. Clear love running on the team, getting nothing done for it. Kuro's dominating. A nice ulti by Gorilla disengages. It's already two kills picked up for Rocks Tigers with what could be the end game push right now. 35 minutes in, triple Mountain Drake, five versus three for 40 seconds. Looking now for Nexus Turrets, looking to be another team into the semifinals. If they can do this and more, the three-man defense, Mako not long for this world. Exhaust is not enough. The dive out of the fountain. Peanut nearly loses his life for it. Was able to safeguard back away. The flash to re-engage, looking for a little bit more damage. And it's still only two members alive. Edward Gaming will not be able to defend this one. Scout's going to lose his life at the end of it all. Death, the last man standing. Nexus falls. Rocks Tigers convincingly take down game one. Welcome back to the big stage, Rocks Tigers. They had a five-game slumber, but three games in a row, they've looked like the team that captured everyone's hearts, finally took down an LCK championship, and have finally shown up at Worlds. Exactly. They were feasting on Koro in the top lane in this game. Peanut and Smev made repeated visits up there, not to mention Kuro was also on a strong champion that could have impact in the game and not get pushed into the laning phase. I really loved their draft as well as their play this game because they were shot.